Hey, what's up guys? Smartphone manufacturers are producing a ton of mid-range phones, and with everything from brilliant paint jobs to bezel-less screens, they're fighting hard to compete for your hard-earned cash. So is this one worth looking into? I'm Will for GSM Marina, and this is our Huawei P Smart 2019 review. The first Huawei P Smart came out last year, and just like before, the new 2019 version aims to bring sleek looks at an affordable price. It's actually quite similar to the recent Honor 10 Lite, but the paint finishes are different, and each device serves separate markets. The P Smart's plastic back is curved, and though it isn't made of glass, it sure looks like it. Ours is in sapphire blue, and it's a stunning gradient from top to bottom. I also really like its unibody design. The back panel transitions seamlessly into the rounded sides. This makes for a nice, comfortable form factor with no sharp edges. It does feel quite thin and light in the hand, which may not be to everyone's taste. Also bear in mind that plastic isn't as hard as glass, so this beautiful finish is easier to scuff up. It might be a good idea to protect it with a case. The LCD screen of the PSmart 2019 is larger than last year's, at 6.2 inches and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen does have a dewdrop notch cut out for the selfie cam. Even though it's small and unobtrusive, you can hide it with a black bar. Content on this screen looks decently sharp at 1080p. Contrast is about middle of the road, but it's not bad for an LCD. Maximum brightness isn't too impressive either at around 430 nits, but it's again not too bad. And legibility outdoors is better than last year, a good showing for its class. We did notice a pronounced backlight bleed around the screen where it meets the frame but it's mostly only visible with a white background. There are plenty of color settings to choose from though, and you can get pretty color accurate in sRGB by choosing the right combination of color mode and temperature. To alert you of when to check your phone, there's a notification LED which can light up in different colors. Notably, it's down on the bottom bezel rather than the top, and not too bright. Underneath that, you have a 3.5mm jack for headphones, a single bottom firing speaker, and, guess what, a micro USB port. Yeah. Audio through the speaker is quite loud, but overall isn't very impressive quality-wise. It misses out on the lows and starts to clip at high volume. Through headphones, both max volume and overall clarity are mediocre. However, you do get FM radio with headphones plugged in, which is a plus. And there is expandable storage on the PSmart 2019, so you won't have to worry about storing a bunch of media on your device. Unlocking this phone is simple. The rear-mounted fingerprint reader is quite fast and accurate, though not the fastest we've seen from Huawei. There is face unlock too, which is quite reliable and fast as well. The PSmart 2019 runs on a 12 nanometer Karen 710 chipset, along with 3 gigs of RAM. It's a big improvement over the Karen 659 of last year's model. Plus, the P-Smart comes with Huawei's GPU Turbo 2.0 on board, which means better optimization and resource allocation when playing supported games. Unfortunately, we weren't able to run benchmarks on our review unit, but inside other phones such as the Honor 8X, the Karen 710 has similar performance to the Snapdragon 660 in both CPU and GPU tests. Powering the whole setup is an ample 3400 mAh battery, Battery life is quite good. In our proprietary tests, the PSmart 2019 earned an endurance rating of 88 hours. There is no quick charging with the 10 watt charger, but it is faster than last year. When we plugged in, we were able to get up to 36% in half an hour, better than the older model's 25%. The interface of the PSmart 2019 is Huawei's EMUI 9.0 over Android 9 Pie. It's not stock Android, but if you've used any Huawei or Honor phone, you'll feel right at home. Swiping to the left takes you to a Google News Feed, based on your interests. It's customizable too. As we've seen recently from Huawei, you can enable gesture navigation if the on-screen keys aren't your thing. Huawei's Theme Store gives you plenty of options to customize the look of your home screen. And there's a neat feature embedded in the camera app. The AI can recognize objects it sees, and give you instant access to online shopping to buy them. High Vision can also translate text and recognize art and landmarks too. Let's get more into the camera. There's a dual setup on the PSmart 2019, consisting of a 13 megapixel f1.8 main cam and a 2 megapixel depth sensor for portrait mode. No OIS though. In daylight, photos come out okay. Colors are reasonably vivid, and dynamic range is not too bad. 
Both contrast and detail are a step up from last year's model, and noise levels are lower than before too. With HDR mode turned on, we didn't see a huge improvement in dynamic range. Some details are recovered in highlights, but the shadows look pretty much the same. Turning on the AI mode means that the phone will automatically adjust settings based on recognized scenes. The color difference is quite minor, and more noticeable in scenes with a lot of blue sky. If you turn on portrait mode, you get photos in 8 megapixels instead of 13, but subject separation is pretty good. We suggest having plenty of light if you're taking portraits, in order to get the sharpest image. At night, performance is nothing to get excited about. Shots are noticeably soft and noisy. At least colors are pretty well preserved. If you switch on the dedicated night mode though, it helps things out a lot. It's not as magical as on Huawei's flagships, but these photos come out sharper than in normal mode and with better preserved detail and highlights. For selfies, the PSmart 2019 is a bit complicated. It has either an 8 megapixel selfie cam or a 16 megapixel one, depending on the market. And of course, fixed focus. Ours is the 8 megapixel version, and selfies look pretty good, with nice skin tones and overall colors. There's a selfie portrait mode, actually the default when you switch to the front facing cam. Edge detection is generally decent, but there is slightly less detail than with the regular photo mode. Videos can be recorded in up to 1080p at 30 or 60 FPS. There's good detail and color rendition, but contrast is a bit too much, with some overly dark shadows. There is no electronic stabilization either, so any moving shot will look quite jerky. So that's the Huawei P Smart 2019. You get a lightweight and great looking build, edge to edge screen, great battery life, and a solid mid range chipset. Plus, there's the latest version of Android right out of the box. It's a much more compelling package than the 2018 model, which was already pretty popular. Of course, there have been some corners cut here, and most of the features are about middle of the road quality ones. But that said, for around 250 euros or even less, it's hard to expect A-grade features. And just keep in mind that the PSmart 2019 won't be available everywhere, only in select markets. But overall, it's a decent budget package that would make a solid and dependable phone, if you don't mind the plastic, and it deserves our recommendation. Thanks for watching guys, hit like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And you're always welcome to stop by our site gsmarina.com for the latest tech news, reviews, and for the full test findings of the PSmart 2019. See ya!